Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to another 1.9 modding tutorial or should I say 1.10 because what we're going to be doing today is actually updating our mod to 1.10 before we actually continue on. I know I've been doing a ton of these small videos but it, we just gotta do them, we just gotta do them, we can't avoid them. But this will seriously be the last one and then we're gonna be moving on to, um, I'm not sure what the next stage is, I haven't actually looked at the code, but it most likely would be like tile entities or something like that. Now what you want to do is go to the Forge website as we've already been to, and now what you want to do is go to 1.10 here, so 1.10.2, and then you want to scroll down and what we're going to do is click on here, download latest, and then click on the MDK here, then just click the skip button, leave, and then now it's downloading. So we've got that downloaded now, you want to drag that onto our desktop, and what we're going to do, uh, close that off as well, we're going to open our uh, um, our working directory here. So this is our uh, mod folder where we uh, created everything in. What we're actually going to do is we're going to highlight everything except for source here. So unselect source uh, and unselect setup workspace and then also, I think that's it. I think that's all we want to unselect there. Uh, unselect run as well if you want to keep your world uh, but besides that um, oh and I want to unselect the source make sure I don't delete them so delete everything so keep your run keep your source folder and then also keep the setup workspace file so we're going to go ahead delete that now so we're left with this we're going to do exactly the same as we did when we set this up we're just going to go ahead drag the contents of this zip into this folder here. Uh, when it comes up with this, just go skip. Close that off, and then we're going to go ahead, double click on set up workspace, and this is going to do exactly the same as we did when we set it up. So just let this run through. Now it might take a while because it's a brand new uh, version, and when you change version, it's going to download all the new files. Now that it's completed, we're just going to go, as usual, open up our Eclipse. Browse for our modding, uh, browse for our working directory. Actually, what we can do is here, uh, we'll just go down to our modding tutorials. Where is it? Uh, there it is. So we can just go that because our folder is exactly the same, so we don't even have to change it. Press OK. Then we go over to here, and it looks like we have no errors, which is really good. Now we're going to do a couple of things, fix up the project. So go to package presentation from this drop down, go to hierarchical. And then also what we need to do is go into our mcmod.info. Oops, let's open that in here. <coughs> and then change the MC version here to 1.10.2 save that and then also in your reference class we're going to change this here accepted versions to 1.10.2 now from my understanding this would have actually worked in 1.10.2 already because we've got no errors at all so what we can actually do here is in accepted versions what we can do is Hmm, hold up, let me just search this up real quickly. We're going to put inside of here, instead of just 1.10.2, we're going to keep 1.9.4, then do a comma, and then after that put 1.10.2. And what this means is this mod will work in this range of versions. So it'll work on 1.9.4 up until 1.10.2. So now we don't actually have to develop pretty much a separate version because we know this is going to work. Now um, you'd want to make sure that this is still true when you're actually, um, let's say we add some new features in this 1.10 environment, you want to make sure that it still works in the 1.9.4 so you'd want to export the mod and then test it in a 1.9.4 um, Minecraft client. But there we go, it is updated now. Now I know this is quite a short video, but we kind of had to get it 
out of the way, but it seems like everything updated very nicely and we didn't actually have to change a lot of things. Now again, I want to remind you guys that I do have a Patreon, so if you want to do if you want to get access to the source code of these modding tutorials, pledge at least $1 or more and then uh, you'll get access to all this and a bunch of other awards as well. So there'll be a link in the description below if you want to check that out. But anyway, make sure you go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to keep up to date with my latest modding tutorials and I will see you guys for the next one. Bye bye.